Hello, I'm incredibly excited to introduce to you today the Technoform Mocha Master coffee machines. This machine is one of the very few drip coffee makers that's available on the market that produces a perfectly balanced cup of coffee. Technovorm was founded in the, in the Netherlands in 1964 by its industrial design and owner, Gerard C. Smit. Mr. Smit was incredibly interested in finding out what could go into a coffee maker to make it work perfectly and to produce the perfect cup of coffee. He worked with the European Coffee Brewing Center as well as the Specialty Coffee Association of Europe to understand exactly what was needed for this machine to create the perfect cup of coffee. I'm really excited to tell you today that he nailed it and the design has remained relatively unchanged since even those early days in the 1960s. What goes into the perfect cup of coffee is known as the golden cup. And the golden cup results in this very small taste profile on a scale that it's not overdeveloped, it's not underdeveloped, it's not too bitter, and it's not too weak. In essence, it's the golden cup. It's the perfect standard. Now we're going to offer two different styles of coffee makers to you. There's the glass version, and then there's also a thermal version. So it's up to you. I'm gonna walk you through the glass coffee maker today so you can really see how the coffee maker works and all the different actions to it. So there's a couple different covers. Of course, this is the cover for the water reservoir and the cover for the bean container. This is a unique device. It's a, a metal tube. It's lined completely in metal and it has nine holes here for the water to be sprayed evenly over the coffee grounds. Very unique thing about this, this nine hole spray arm is that because it's lined with metal, when the water comes up through the tube after it's perked in that copper element down below in here, it will come and it will maintain its temperature all the way through until it hits the coffee grinds. What you want to start with is a really great coffee grind. So it, the right grind is very important. If it's too coarse, the water's going to run way too quickly through the grounds and you're not going to get the proper contact time. If it's too fine, it's going to get held up in there. The water won't be able to pass through as quickly, almost like sand, and it'll start to get constricted, and it won't allow you to have the proper contact time between water and coffee grinds. So each of the Technovorm Mocha Master coffee makers comes with a coffee scoop. What you'll want to do is simply take one full level coffee scoop for every two cups of coffee that you're interested in, in brewing. So if I were to fill this up to the 10 cup line, I obviously will only need five full spoons of this. And again, I'll show you how that works in just a minute. But those are the, the key factors into creating that perfect golden cup experience. The right consistency of grind, the right amount of grind, the right amount of water in proportion to the amount of coffee grinds that you have. And finally, the last aspect of it is making sure that the water is at the proper temperature as it's extracted over those grinds. This is the brew basket. And the brew basket, you'll notice, has a manual selection. And there's three different symbols here. The open symbol is the symbol that you're going to want to use when you're brewing a full pot of coffee. That is 10 cups, maybe even eight cups, but it's a full pot of coffee. If you want to select the half moon symbol here, that's going to indicate that you're only brewing a half a pot of coffee, maybe in the four to six cup range. And finally, there's an icon that has an X drawn through it, and that's going to completely close off the water from being able to flow out the brew basket. Now, this is important for a few different reasons. The main reason, coming back to the Golden Cup standard, is that this is going to properly control the time that the water heated to the proper temperature is coming over your grounds, which are, of course, ground to the proper consistency. So with the open symbol, there's going to be no impediment to the water coming down, and this whole machine has been manufactured to make sure that the water and coffee contact time is consistent. There's only a couple switches. There's one switch which will turn it on and off, and there's another switch which controls the heating plate element. Flip to this side is going to be when you have a full pot of coffee and you want to keep it completely warmed, and that'll be at the highest setting. The second will be when you flip it down and it'll adjust itself a little bit to a lower wattage so it's not heating the coffee quite as much. But again, it's making sure that that coffee is held at the proper temperature. The last thing that I want to tell you about is the carafe itself. So this carafe is uh, obviously a glass carafe. And as I mentioned previously, you can buy it in a thermal version as well. But the interesting thing that Technovorm has done here with their carafe is they've created this special tube. You can see it here. And this is what they call a de-stratification tube. What this tube is going to do in simple terms is it's going to, as the coffee is brewed through the top, it's going to deposit the coffee into the bottom of the carafe. 
By putting the coffee directly into the bottom of the carafe, you're going to get a natural mixing action. So as the coffee brews, it's being brewed all the way from the bottom up. And th therefore, you're eliminating where some coffee makers, as it brews, it's creating different layers of strengths or stratifications of strength. So you have really strong coffee on the bottom and progressively weaker as it goes up. But with this destratification tube, you don't have those concerns, which is another really intuitive design element that's, that's made this uh, coffee maker such a fantastic hit. So I'm just going to put things back together here and then fill my 40 ounce clear reservoir with enough water to brew a full pot of coffee. It's great too. A lot of coffee makers, when you're pouring the water, you're either pouring into this small little hole in the back or you have to pull the coffee maker around in weird ways and you're trying to look at this tiny little indicator on the side to understand if your coffee's at the right level. Obviously, you don't have that problem here. Now that I have my water, I'm going to input a paper filter. Technivorm recommends the use of white paper filters. And I'm going to take five scoops to make my 10 cups of coffee. So slide that back into place and put this on top. Now, before I turn the machine on, one important thing that you're going to want to remember to do is to double check the front of the brew basket and make sure that you've selected the proper position. So for me, I have a full 10 cups of water. I've got my full uh, scoops of coffee inside here. I'm going to make sure that that's in the full open position. Then all you need to do is flip the machine on. It starts within 20 to 30 seconds. You're going to hear a, a slight whir of the machine as the water starts to be perked up through that tube, which you can see right through the clear water reservoir. And I can see now there's actually some bubbles already forming, which shows me it's getting to the proper temperature and it's getting the water hot enough transferring it through the tube and then down over my coffee grounds via that nine hole spray arm. So it's going to be nice and even in there. In the time I've been talking, it's only been 30 seconds or so and we already have coffee that's starting to brew here. So it's incredibly quick. You're going to be able to brew a full pot of coffee in about five to six minutes. So it's, it's super quick, it's fantastic, and it's going to taste fantastic. I can guarantee you that as well. We're going to get that golden cup experience. Now some folks, I mentioned earlier that you can, you can stop the brew so that you can turn the brew basket to the closed position. This would be a good point to do that if you wanted to add a little bit more agitation in the top. That's really sort of for you coffee geeks out there. For the ones like me who just want a straightforward cup of coffee, just let it brew. All right, so now I've got my full pot of coffee brewed and I'm going to grab my cup and pour myself some. Down here. Pours nice and easily. I like a big cup, perfect. Fit that right in. Now at this point, I'm probably gonna be okay to go ahead and leave this on the full pot setting. But if I take another cup out of there and pour it, I'll probably wanna switch this to the half pot setting. So that'll help make sure, again, it doesn't burn and uh, ruin the taste of our coffee. So after this, it's really easy. All you need to do is disassemble once the machine is cooled down, of course. Just disassemble your parts the way that I showed you earlier. Rinse them under the hot water using a little bit of mild detergent. Last thing I want to tell you for cleaning is on this clear glass tube that we saw the bubbles coming up when the coffee was brewing, if it ever becomes cloudy and you can't see through it, go ahead and descale your machine. That's a really easy visual indicator that it's time to descale. The manufacturer recommends either using vinegar or some combination of water and a descaling solution that you can buy at Williams-Sonoma as well. So I hope I've been able to share some great facts about the Technivorm Mocha Master coffee machines and that you enjoy drinking the Golden Cup experience as much as I do.